Hey everybody, um, it is, ooh, it's day nine of vlogging, woo, interesting. Um, I almost didn't post last night, as you guys saw, very late video, very dead, I'm wearing the same thing that I was last night, um, because I got woken up by a knock on the door this morning, um, just apartment people come in, change out a receptacle or something like that. Um, something like for the water. Anyways, um, I forgot to mention yesterday, we're in week two of vlogging. Woo! Um, last week, just posting every day, uh, actually didn't feel like too much. Uh, last night was really the only night I felt like, man, I really just don't want to post tonight. Um, I managed to knock out the editing and rendering in like 30 minutes so I'm getting better at editing um I'm trying not to put too much into it uh just for the sole fact of I'm a perfectionist and I like getting everything as nice as I can um I think this slow creep up on quality is gonna suit me best because I'll figure out hey Simon I'll actually get to you know hone in on it slowly and not worry so much about quality. I'm going to focus more on quantity and uh, I'll slowly creep my way up on quality. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's how I'm going to start uh, thinking about this channel here. I told you guys from the beginning, I've had the itch to create um and this has been a really nice outlet for that uh, just something nice easy daily quick uh just to get my feet you know in the water and starting to muck around <laughs> um I guess I'm dirty I need to take a shower with yesterday so much happened um like I said I ended up getting Lily's car fixed thankfully I went over to yeah her dad's and did a bunch of work at the metal sorting. I took out that gigantic pile that I said I'd been working on. Um, and now I'm going to start working like inside of the sheds. So things are going to probably get a little more dangerous, but I'll be safe. Back to the stuff about this channel. Um, I would absolutely love if you guys gave me some constructive criticism in the comments down below. Uh, <laughs> I just, I really don't know what I'm doing too much. Um, I am using DaVinci Resolve 18 and a half uh, to edit these videos. Uh, my buddy Trent uses it and I used to use Sony Vegas, uh, like a free version of that. Now I'm using DaVinci Resolve and um, the the ease is just there. It's, it's so much easier to use DaVinci than it is for Vegas. So if there's any, you know, shortcuts or pace setters you know that could help me with this program let me know i know this is a little more technical than anything i've talked about before i really want to try and keep everything at a base level for everyone i want to make sure everybody you know can get something out of these videos especially myself i got a little <laughs> list here of things that i'm talking about um but yeah, please give me a comment down below. Give me a like, give me a follow, whatever. Share this if you think somebody needs to hear any of this. Share it if you want to. The plans I have for this channel, I would like to keep uploading daily. It's a really fun goal for me. I have had a lot more time uh, than I normally would because uh, I, I don't currently have a job. Um, still on the job hunt, but... I still hope whenever, whenever I do have a job, I can pump out tiny little videos every day. Um, if not every day, maybe I'll go to like a few times a week, maybe once a week, if it really ends up being like that. But that's way in the future. I have no clue about that. And then, of course, the plans for this channel are going to change whenever my life plans change. Um, the plans for my life. Right now, I am sitting waiting for a storm to happen so that way I can 
get working with the insurance companies. Um, I'm still waiting on an email from them about classes. I very well might just call in today and check with them um, because I am in desperate need of money. Um, I've got very little right now in my own bank account. Lily is about to get paid, so we'll be set for our apartment to like pay and we'll be we'll be set for like our apartment and food and electricity. We're gonna be okay. Uh, but of course, I I would like to be more comfortable and I'd like to be saving for the future. And my future includes doing van life. Um, my bus, my bus is a very big part of myself and my personality. I have had that bus since I was 13 and I've been working on it ever since. Um, I've, he's a zoomer, he's just going, but I, I've lived in it once now, uh, for about, yeah, four to five months. Um, I had built it out specifically for living in it just for a summer. There's a lot of quality control that I need to do on it before I go on this bigger trip that I'm planning. So here's my situation right now. Lily and I are going to be here in Mississippi until she is done with her teaching contract. She has to stay here until 2026. Basically, they said, hey, if you teach in Mississippi for five years, we will pay for your entire college and we'll have no college debt. Just an incredible opportunity for her. She didn't have any previous plans anyways, and she took it. Um, I was with her. We were together whenever she originally got it, so... So far, it's been two years, um, actually three, three years. So it's been three years now that she's been in the program. She has three more to go. She has already done two years of student teaching. So she's been an assistant, um, which counts towards the five years, thankfully. And now she has three to go and she's in her first year of her actual teaching. In the time that we're here, I need to have the bus ready to go. And I've already done a lot of modifications on it already. I have a good understanding of how she works and I have a good understanding of what I need to do to get her running properly. And so a lot of this channel is going to be geared towards working on her and then, dude, anyways, I have a lot of work to do on that bus. I know how to do it. I have the space to do it. I just do not have the money to do it. And so I'm trying to get this job as an insurance adjuster because the pay is going to be a lot better. I wasn't getting paid terribly at my old job. I was making around about $600, $700 a week. It was like a little over two grand a month, which is pretty nice. If I worked weekends, I'd get about a thousand dollars a week, just solid, but it kills you. It is so draining, very physical labor. With this new job, I am going to be working my butt off for a few months doing not physical labor, a lot of computer stuff, which I think I'm pretty good at, and then I will have time off. I will have so much time off. So storm season comes around about now. Next month is gonna be big. So I am gonna try and get in here and make a lot of money while I can. And then I can take off a lot of other time. Or if need be, I can deal with like daily claims and I can go to somebody who got into like an, a car wreck and I'd be like, okay, let me look at your car. Okay, this is in your policy, great, cover it. Or I can do the storm stuff and go to areas that get hit by hurricanes and be like, okay, your whole house is totaled. I'm going to look at your policy. This is what we're paying you. Cool. And then I'll get a cut of what they get paid. I'll get like a percentage, which is wild. Not a cut of it, but like I'll get matched a percentage of whatever I put out for people, which is crazy. You wouldn't think that insurance adjusters would get paid based on how much the insured 
ends up getting, but that's how it works. Um, so a lot of people think that insurance adjusters are there to screw you over and save money for the insurance company, which is of course what the insurance company wants. Of course they don't want to pay a lot of money. But if you end up not paying the insured enough, that's a risk of a lawsuit and that's gonna cost even more money. So it's easier to just pay everything up front than it is to deal with all of the, you know, lawsuit stuff. Anyways, I'm kind of rambling here. In three years, Lily and I are going to be living on the road for about a year, year and a half. Uh, we're gonna be traveling to all 50 states, uh, at least all 49 landlocked states. Hawaii will probably just take a flight and take a little trip over there for fun when we can. We plan on living in the bus for a year and a half. We're gonna be taking our big road trip, visiting all the states. Um, we've worked through our first season so far. Um, in 2026, we plan on booking it up to Maine and then working our way all the way down the East Coast, which we've already visited most of, but just to kind of cross it off the list and make 100% sure we've been there and we've done that. Then we'll be in the Florida Keys for around Christmas time. We're gonna start working our way back towards the West um, around, yeah, 2027. Oh my gosh, that's in four years, that's crazy. <laughs> this month has felt like the longest month ever because I don't have anything to do. The last day of June, I quit my job and I haven't had employment since. So it's, it's actually been about two months now but the first two weeks of July, I was on a two week road trip. Um, I went up to Boston to visit my friend Trent. Lily and I hit up some national parks on the way up and on the way back down. It's really fun. I might work on that video today. That might be something else I'm doing today. Um, but my main goal with these videos is to show you guys what I'm up to. And this is my roadmap right now. This is what my life is gonna be looking like. So there you go. That is, that is my agenda. I am trying to make better videos. I am trying to get my life situated and geared towards the life that I, I want to live and I plan on living. That's, that's kind of it. It feels good to have a plan. I didn't have a plan for the longest time. Whenever I dropped out of college, I was floating for a while. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I floated for about three months and I had no clue. And then I met Lily and uh, she showed me this whole world of travel and I just loved it. I'm, I'm really driven. I'm really driven to go and see things, but I don't have the money. <laughs> to get started. So I'm doing what I can. And you guys help me out as much as you'd like to. I'd love the help. I need help. So just go ahead and uh, like or share or whatever. Uh, and I guess I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.